We're in the Christmas week and we are contemplating the Christmas story as is recorded in the Gospel of Luke. And we've looked at the visitation of the angel. Now we're going to look at Mary's response. Luke chapter 1, verse 34 and 35. Then Mary said to the angel, how can this be, since I do not know a man? The angel answered and said to her, the Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the highest will overshadow you. Therefore also, that Holy One who is to be born will be called the Son of God. Mary received an assignment that was surprising, it seemed impossible. The angel told her, you're going to conceive and give birth to a child. It seemed like a simple enough statement, but Mary had a deeper appreciation of that message. She didn't see it as something that was going to happen in the far future. She saw it as something that was going to happen immediately. And at that time, she was not married. And so she asked a simple question, a curious question, not of unbelief, but curiosity to know, how is God going to do all of these things? So she asked the question, how can this be? Have you ever wondered how God is going to do what he says he will do in your life? When God says, I'm going to bless you, have you asked yourself, how is God going to do it? When God says you will be great, have you ever wondered, how, how is that going to happen? And you ask that question because, not because you doubt God, but you, you're wondering, what will be the process? How is this going to be? And that was Mary's first response. I hear you, angel. I hear you, Gabriel. I understand. But how is that going to happen? And then she tells us, why she asked the question? Because she says, I don't know a man. In other words, I'm not married, and I'm not supposed to have anything to do with a man uh, until I get married. And I get from your message that this thing is going to happen right now. So how is it going to happen since I don't know a man? So already in Mary's mind, the miracle and its purpose has formed in her mind. She knows this is nothing ordinary. She knows this is extraordinary. She knows the implications of it. And she understands human biology to know that this is going to be a very tough task. Since I don't know a man. You know, many times God wants to do something for us and we say, Lord, I don't know anybody. I don't even have a helper. I don't come from a great family. I don't have relatives who can help me. But God says, I'm going to do it. Even if you don't know a man, you don't have any contacts, you don't have the background, you don't have what should naturally qualify you to do what you have to do, God still can perform his purposes in your life. And that's what the angel is telling Mary. So the angel then responds to Mary as questing, doesn't rebuke her. And the reason he doesn't rebuke her is because it's not a question of doubt. It's a question of curiosity, seeking to know God's ways. And so the angel says, the Holy Spirit will come upon you and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. These are delicate statements to talk about the awesome work of the Holy Spirit in the life of a believer that he's able to overshadow us. When a person overshadows you, it's almost like he's covered you, enveloped you, and he's able to take you to the place that he wants you to be. So the Holy Spirit is going to envelop you, overshadow you, cover you. When the Holy Spirit overshadows you, he takes over your weaknesses. He takes over the impossibility. He takes over the limitations, and he's able to override all of that and still work out God's purposes in your life. You know, we all desire that the Holy Spirit will overshadow us. We know our weaknesses, but we pray, overshadow us, cover us, so that what is considered impossible will be done in our lives. Let's pray. Say with me, Heavenly Father, you do not need a man in order to bless me. You alone are my help. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Well, I'll catch you again tomorrow. I'm Pastor Mensah Otabel. Shalom, peace, and life to you.